Hello there, this is Vanessa Ho again and this is my third video sharing with you the reasons why mature Vietnamese women would like to be with Western men. What I mean by mature. Those are the women who were born a few years before and right on and within a few years after the Vietnam War because that is a crucial event of the country's history. But first, how would you like an ongoing supply of free reports, helpful resources and unique cultural insights for meeting, dating and marrying a Vietnamese woman? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again. From my last two videos, I mentioned with you that I found 14 reasons, but I actually just added on one more. So you will, you will never know because I may add a few more after this video. Okay. So, um, I, but then I just want to also share with you that these are the reasons that based on my own experiences and as well as those mature Vietnamese women that I have been able to interact with and talk to throughout all these years. So here are the next four reasons why Vietnamese, mature Vietnamese women would like to be with Western men. Are you ready? And then of course, just like my previous, um, art, my previous videos, I would like to remind you that the most important factors for you to be able to be with a decent and nice woman um, in general and uh, mature Vietnamese woman in particular is must, ha is must, must come from you, from your sincerity and for who you are. And the gentleman is always is a gentleman no matter where he come from. Agree? Number 10, less controlling because many Vietnamese men who live in Vietnam and were born around my age, they tend to not consider their woman as an equal. And for that reason, they are far more controlling. They would like to, they, most of the time they would ask where their woman going, why she spent more time with her friends, and what is she doing? And the worst part is that they even dislike if the woman want to advance in the career that I have briefly mentioned from my previous video. Uh, they don't want their woman to advance in career or going back to school. You know, um, I'm telling you this little secret of me, okay? Um, Actually, my brother, my biological brother, used to act like that. Even though he, at the time, that before he married, now he's 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 totally different. Okay, and at the time, he's the we were living in the U.S. already. He will dictate it what I gonna wear. If I'm wearing something a little short or you know sleeveless, he would like no, you not, you a lady you're not supposed to wear that to go out. Or if I'm eating and uh, there's some soup and broth, you know, or some crunchy vegetable and then I bite on it and make a sound, he would say, that's not ladylike. And if I was eating and if someone asked me a question and um, I answer, then he would say, no, you're not allowed, that's not ladylike either. Um, you should, this point is, is, I think it's kind of okay, that um, yeah, you need to finish eating and then talk. You should not chewing while talking, that's not ladylike. So those are the examples I wanna share with you um, regarding the Vietnamese man, uh, even, I think even that they live here in the US, some of them still do that. <laughs> Don't tell them, okay. Number 11, more affectionate. Because the Vietnamese culture is much more reserved, therefore the Vietnamese men, especially 
the mature Vietnamese men and the one who still live in Vietnam, they are much more reserved with physical contacts such as hugging or kissing, even in private. Yes, you heard me right, even in private. And for that reason, the Vietnamese women tend to grow up with that culture. But as a whole, the Western men tend to be more affectionate because of their upbringing. So we had nothing against that, right? And for having said that, I highly, highly recommend you that if you ever go back to Vietnam and if you meet the, the decent Vietnamese woman who in her 30s and older, then you better not show an affection beyond holding hands in most cases in public. And here's the most important point I want you to remember or even take note, okay? Don't do anything beyond holding hands or even for the first few times when you're gonna meet her family or family members. Don't do that either. Don't even hold hands the first few times. Yes. That's a big no, 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 no. If you want to get her family approval and credit, then don't do it the first time or even the first few times, okay? Number 12, helped with domestic duties and raising kids. In Vietnam, majority of the Vietnamese men tend to view that the housework is for women only. Therefore, even if the woman has a really busy career, she is expected to cook and do things around the house with little, if any, help from the man. Likewise, if they have kids, then the women tend to be responsible for raising the kids and most of the activities that involve with their kids. Number 13, affairs are not accepted. A Vietnamese man, if he has an affair, he tend to not hide it from his woman since he doesn't feel there's anything wrong with it, sadly. Especially if he's a breadwinner. In, in most cases, the Vietnamese woman, especially the more mature Vietnamese woman, tend to keep quiet about it, even though she doesn't like the situation. She cannot even confront Another the other woman because the society views that is an acceptable thing, acceptable behavior. It's really sad. I witnessed this behavior and I heard about it, I read about it a lot. There or some woman would go, would go and confront her spouse, her man, and the other lady. And the result that she actually got insulted by him. Yes. But a Western man is less likely is far less likely to have an affair. And if he does, he doesn't rub it into his woman face like a Vietnamese man does. Okay then, you just heard another four reasons why mature Vietnamese women would like to be with Western men. Before I end this video here, once again, I want to remind you, and please keep in mind, that if you are looking, seriously looking 
to settle down with a nice, decent woman in general and a nice, decent Vietnamese woman in Vietnam in particular. Please, please remember that you yourself must be that person first. Okay? Okay, then once again, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your time. This is Vanessa Ho and I'm looking forward to hear from you. If you have any question, any thoughts you want to share, please feel free to put it out in the comment section for me. I do my best to respond to them. And I'm looking forward to see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.